coach, coach said he expected maybe on Sunday to be kind of a negative attitude type practice, but guys came out real positive. Were you happy with the way the team re re responded on Sunday? Yeah, I was definitely impressed on um, Sunday. Uh, practice, we came out here, everybody was here to work. Everyone had a good mindset. Uh, it was definitely one of our better practices for Sunday. And honestly, during the whole season, I mean, the focus was there, the effort was there. Um, people were there, there to get better, and they were locked in. I liked it. You guys had a players only game? Uh, yeah. What what was the antithesis of that, and what came of it? I mean, players only meeting, what's said in the players only meeting stays in the players only meeting. We just wanted to have a little uh, come together moment, and I think that it was, uh, I think it, it did its job. Do you feel like this team is fully bought in right now? I think so. I think everybody's. Uh, Kind of came back down, you know, um, getting our feet back in the dirt, ready to go, ready to grind, ready to get back to where we were um, during fall camp. Kind of get that mentality back and that, like the, not, I don't want to say swagger, but like get that, the, the vibe we had going on. We kind of lost that vibe, which we're, we're going to get it back this week and hopefully carry it on into Saturday. You kind of saw the emotion, I guess, in the wake of Saturday's loss. Is that something, are you still kind of carrying that or really kind of put that, leave that in that moment? I mean, I was pretty fired up after the game on Saturday just because I was disappointed in myself and in my team and what happened. I feel like we um, didn't put our best abilities and I was also, I mean, just sometimes you get tired of, of the same thing happening and um, I think I was just ready and I, mean, I know my team's ready just to prove what we can do and we know how good we can be, we know how good our whole squad, every position we know how good they can be and um, we're ready to help each other out and get it done. How important is it to know that obviously it's still a long season and we still have a lot of time left in games? I and mean, we got, I think, what, nine more games regular season? That's a lot of football left. All my older buddies up from the team keep texting me and saying, man, keep those guys up. There's a lot of ball left, and I know it. I mean, they're right. I mean, if you, if you check out now, then there's no point in playing football. So, I mean, right now we just got to come together, be a team, be a family, and, you know, buckle down and go to work. We've got nine times to prove ourselves just this year and show this country what we're made of. You guys play the coaches coach do you guys have conversation with the coaching staff about things that you think might work better for you guys i mean the coaches definitely ask us if we think there's something we need to work on or something like we need to fix but because they're open to us they want to know what we think and i mean so it's it's we've got a good relationship with our coaches no matter what it is they're always there for us and we're always there for them is it easy to, to like adding like a, a too tight formation or doing more stuff with rolling beyond your other pocket? That's something you think to do on the fly. I mean, it's definitely have to do like on a Monday or a Sunday. See, so it's time to install it. Um, but when it comes to adding in players, I mean, we're football players. We're on scholarship. We should, we should be able to learn something quick. When you go to the NFL, they hand you a couple new plays a day. You expect to know that by the time you go to practice in three hours. So that's our job. So we got to do what we got to do.